you get to have it more your way and this conversation is about you deciding to do that you deciding you decide to stop arguing for your limitations because it's not necessary and it doesn't serve you and nobody else cares Esther found herself because everybody that she loves went off and did excursions five days in a row Esther didn't go and her daughter Tracy said oh mom I just hate going off without you and Esther said I just love that you're leaving me here <laughs> She says, the first time I've never had split energy. I have no split energy because I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm uncomfortable going. I have no split energy. And then she thought, why do I have to hurt myself in order to give myself permission to do exactly what I want to do? Instead of pleasing everybody, doing what everybody else thinks I should do. In other words, you have been so specific about calibrating yourself to the other people around you that you're leaving so much of what you want out of the equation so much of the time that you got tension and then you got all these ways of explaining it well my mother raised me that way or that person demands that of me or it's the way it has to be and we say really Esther has to take it upon herself to worry about every single person who's got a flight that's going to Rome. Can't she let some of them just get there on their own? Does she really have to feel responsible about what everybody's doing just because they're going to rendezvous with her in some way? In other words, you guys got to lighten up. You got to be more self-aware. Self-interest is a real thing. And it doesn't mean be inconsiderate of others. You can't be inconsiderate of others. Your inner being is considerate of others. So if you're inconsiderate of others, you won't feel good. But let what you're thinking about be about your finding your alignment, not about you trying to make something happen. You sort of gave it away when you said, specificity makes me fearful, as if you have anything to do with the specificity. The law of attraction is what's gathering it all up. All you are is the pointer. And we're just asking you, point where you want to go, unless where you are is exactly where you want to be. If where you are is exactly where you want to be, then say, look at that, look at that, look at that. Selectively sift. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I like that, 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 I like that. Because you know what? You can't stand still. I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. Law of attraction is going to bring you more like that, more like that, more like that. Different faces, different places, but more like that, more like that. But if there's stuff you don't like, look over there. Look over there where what you've asked for has already gathered into a big glob of mercury point of attraction, gathering together all of the cooperative components, you see. This is the real deal. This is how worlds are created. This is what you came for. You didn't come to regurgitate or to report. You came to create. And in the doing so, Jerry said every day that Esther knew him, she'd see him before a workshop go off and she knew it was going through his mind. Sometimes he'd say it right out loud as they were walking down the hallway. He would say, I am an uplifter and everyone who comes into my sphere, we're calling it a field of attraction, will be uplifted as a result of their encounter with me. And no one will be diminished as a result of their encounter with me. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a powerful, deliberate point of attraction? And you could take it further. I'm not going to hurt my heart anymore by pushing against that. I'm not going to watch that thing on television that makes me upset every time I watch it. I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. That's like Esther saying, today I guess I won't slam myself down on the toilet. <laughs> Boom! What are you going to do today? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What are you going to do? I'm going to be deliberate. I'm going to look for the lovelies. I'm going to comment on the lovelies. I'm going to look for the uplifters. I'm going to appreciate my skills and I'm going to appreciate the workforce and I'm going to appreciate all of the opportunities that are out there and I'm going to match myself up with the best of them. And I'm going to see myself growing and expanding and I'm going to see myself eager on my way to work and I'm going to see myself 
satisfied as I'm moving toward the things I want. And I'm going to see a steady progression of all the things that I want. I'm going to feel good to be there because I realize I'm going to spend a lot of my time doing that. And I want to feel good in this lot of time that I spend doing that. I'm going to look for their positive aspects and I'm going to practice them when I'm not with them. And I'm going to look for their positive aspects and I'm going to practice them when I'm not with them. I'm going to fill my bag of marbles so full of the positive aspects of everyone that I'm going to encounter on a regular basis for darn sure. And then I'm going to watch the law of attraction reach into their sphere and bring that aspect of them to me until that is the relationship that I have with that one and that one and that one and that one and that one because that that's the relationship I practice because the law of attraction is a real deal I'm no longer gonna walk through life and say you I disapprove of you change <laughs> makes me feel bad when I see you doing that I'm gonna practice my bag of marbles until the law of attraction doesn't let me see that I don't see that Esther really relates to this have you ever gone to a furniture store it's Esther's favorite place to be really she likes it almost as much as a vortex <laughs> and when she goes to the furniture store she will say to Tracy who is usually her partner in crime who goes with her her daughter she'll say we're only looking for lamps do not call me to see anything but lamps <laughs> because there are a lot of things in that store and they get so distracted about so many things and then they lose their focus only lamps today I don't want to hear about a table don't show me that rug I don't want to see that picture I don't want to see that sofa lamps we're looking for lamps well that's sort of what we're talking about you want to use your focus to identify how you want to feel and the law of attraction will bring that and that and that and that and that good really good best ever If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.